Hey y'all, here's Miss Apron Strings back again in the kitchen having a good time. I'm going to make some okra fritters and um, it's going to go with our meal that I told you about when I did the beef tips and rice. So we're going to have, um, they're kind of like fried okra, but they're different. I guess they're just alike, only different. That's wise, isn't it? Here's what goes into them. A pound of okra and you want to chop it really fine. And I whizzed it on my Tupperware Pro Chef, Power Chef, and it just it made it just about the right size. A half of an onion chopped really fine, one egg beaten, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon and a half of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a cup of water. And you mix all that together, and I've got that in my bowl mixed. Then you mix together a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of cornmeal, a teaspoon of baking powders. And I've got that mixed really uh, blended good. And you just pour that into the okra mixture and stir it up. And then you drop it into the skillet by, you know, with just a spoonful at a time. And make it's kind of like a little fried cornbread patty, but it's got the okra and onions in it. And it's just, it's good. I've made this before and of course I like to dip them in ketchup it it's like almost like having fried okra without the little individual pieces I guess that could be because it's okra and it's getting fried huh and you just want it to be a thick consistency and if you think it's not thick enough um, add you a little bit more flour and cornmeal but I think this is going to be just about right let me move my paraphernalia here, and I'll show y'all what I've got. See, it's just, um, it's just thick, 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 like hot water cornbread, kind of. So I'm going to get my grease heated over here on the skillet, and when it gets pretty hot, I'm going to um, go ahead and fry them. Let me tell y'all a little tip. If you're cooking and company's not here yet, and you're not sure what time they're going to get here, and this particular group of company usually runs a little late, I like to take one of my enameled cast iron pots, and I put me some paper towel in the bottom, and I go ahead and heat it a little bit on the burner to get the pot warm. Put your french fries, onion rings, um, your corn fritters, your hot water cornbread, Put it down in that pot and put that heavy lid on and let me tell you, it'll keep it warm for a couple of hours. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these okra fritters done and um, I'm going to put them in my big cast iron pot with paper towel to catch the grease and it'll keep them warm till everybody gets ready to eat. See there, I'm just so full of wisdom and I'm just so generous to share it with y'all. You need to listen. You learn a few things. Okay. Let me um, get some in the skillet, and I'll bring the camera over there and let y'all see how it looks to sizzle. I, um, I got a message on Facebook Messenger the other day, and a friend from many, many, many years ago, she could be my daughter, she's younger, but she said, if you need some okra to do something for your YouTube channel, I have a bunch. Yes, I needed okra. Last year, our okra produced so much, we would pick five-gallon bucket full a day. But it rained so much here that we didn't get a garden planted, you know, this year. We didn't get anything. So she was a school teacher, and she was getting her classroom ready for it to start. So I ran up to Cleveland to the school, and Tanya Cates ran out and brought me some okra. So that's why we're having okra fritters. And I want to thank Tanya for watching my YouTube channel and for sharing her okra. And when she gets some big old tomatoes, she's welcome to share those with me, too. Okay, there's my okra fritters and they're cooking. And let me just tell you something, Miss Bohemian Gypsy in Australia, this would make an okra lover out of somebody that don't like okra. You need to try it. Michelle's one of my faithful viewers and she's always texting back and forth with me or messaging and we have a lot in common and like a lot of the same stuff, but I love okra and she doesn't. But I bet you she would like this. I'm going to brown it on this side, and then I'm going to flip it over to the other one. And then I'm going to put it in that big red pot right there and keep it good and warm. And we're going to enjoy it along with beef tips and rice. And thickened corn. 
and green beans that I canned. Two quarts of green beans with the tasso in them that I was telling you about. We're going to have us a good old meal. Okay, y'all, I got the last okra fritter in the skillet. Oh, Tanya, thank you for that okra. I done tasted it one, and it is very good. Okay, I've got that one in, and then I'll show y'all. See, I put them down in this pot, and I'll put the lid on it, and they stay toasty warm. So that's what I'm fixing to do right now. I'm going to get this one out of this skillet and into the pot and get the lid on it so that until the kiddos get here, they'll stay good and warm. There you have it. Okra fritters. Okay, y'all. Doesn't that just look delicious? Look at that. It's wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to dunk me some in that ketchup stuff I made, the herb tomatoes. Put a little Mexican crema on it. They're going to be good. I hope y'all enjoyed the uh, lesson, the recipe on the okra fritters. They are just a different twist on a fried cornbread is what it boils down to. And they're so yummy. So I know some parts of the world don't have okra, but, you know, here in the South, we have an abundance of it. So I'd like for y'all to try it. And if you do, please leave me a comment. Somebody asked me the other day, I said, are you subscribed to my channel? And they said, well, yeah, don't you? I said, I can't tell who is subscribed because everybody sets their stuff to private and it doesn't show up. So I would like for you to comment once in a while and so I will know that you're watching. I know I've got a bunch and it's growing, but I don't have a clue who most of you are. But I appreciate you watching and subscribing. I will appreciate you sharing it with your friends where the channel can grow. And I'm just going to keep churning out good recipes if y'all will keep showing up in the kitchen to learn. I appreciate you so much. And I hope y'all are listening to my little tidbits at the end of the videos because it's real important. Um, you need to spend family time. And the best way to get people together is over food. Everybody likes to eat most people gather them around the table and conversation will just flow because when people are relaxed and enjoying themselves they tend to visit and talk so y'all try to do that a little more often get around the table and have a good meal it takes a little planning i got up this morning planning what i was going to fix tonight for supper so just you know make you a timeline when to start and you'll get used to about how long it takes to make make each dish and you can have it on the table at whatever time you have set for your goal. So spend some time with your family. Turn those phones and all that mess off. Don't have the TV blared. I don't care who's playing football or basketball or baseball. You can take an hour to be with your family. So that being said, y'all have a wonderful rest of the weekend. It's Saturday here and tomorrow is Sunday. I hope y'all find a place to go to Sunday school and worship the good Lord. Thank him for all of his blessings. That's where all the good stuff comes from. He blesses us and I am blessed beyond measure. I'll see y'all tomorrow right here with something good to eat.